Justin's come in and say hi. Hey, Joe pulled up. It is cold and rainy and gloomy here. Ugh, I don't like gloomy, gloomy. But I will get y'all pulled up. Maybe, 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 maybe. What's up? It's Wednesday, y'all. It's hump day. It is Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Sometimes when you work from home, you lose track of days. All right. It's going to take its sweet time coming up. Virginia. What's up? Is it cold up there too? Because it's cold here. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Oh, goodness. When the weather's bad, so is your internet, y'all. Alright, there we go. I got to the right page anyway. See how long it takes me to get to the post <laughs> or the live. Oh my goodness. Holy camoly. <laughs> All right, we still got a couple minutes. We're not late yet. That's why I come on early. Good morning, good morning. You're new here. Well, welcome, Diana. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So if you have any questions, let me know. If I can find you. Good morning, good morning, y'all. What's up? Is it cold where y'all are? It's supposed to get in the it's supposed to get to the thirties tomorrow night, y'all. I'm not happy. <laughs> not happy. Alright, let's see if it works this time. Good morning, good morning. I'm a hot mess this morning. Okay, it's going to take its sweet time, but we will. You're supposed to get snow. Holy man. But we'll go ahead and get started until I can get this pulled up because it is 10 o'clock. I think I may have got y'all. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. Not even 10.01 yet. So we're using the large flower board um, to make this Sarah flower. Um, I got a lot of questions. What the heck is a Sarah flower? So I'm going to show y'all. What's cracking? It is cold. It's cold. It's cold. 41 in California. Holy man. That's crazy. Good morning, y'all. So, it's in the 70s. Well, I'm coming to you, Damon. Daggone. <laughs> so, this is the Sarah flower. So, it is the sunflower on the outside with the rosebud in the middle. 
Um, so y'all have to bear with me. It has been quite a while since I've made one. So we're gonna wing it together. So I've gone ahead and loaded most of the board. Um, I just have a couple more left to do. With this one, we can go ahead. You're just gonna go down one hole and up the next, and we can go ahead and get these closed up because our petals will just slide right in them. So we'll go ahead and get that done. So each set of, each hole has a corresponding hole. So I, I think I've got a lot of new people on here this morning. So you'll just go down one hole, up the next, and depending on what petal you were doing, you will either leave it open or you'll go ahead and close it. For this one, we are gonna go ahead and close it. Good morning, good morning, y'all. So um, for, we have done all of the set of ties. Now for this one, we are gonna go back and add extra ties. I'm not gonna do that now. We will do it once we get everything going, okay? <laughs> you can load them, Damon. You got it. So I'm going to bring y'all down, and we will go ahead and get started. So this is the Dean Michael fold that we are using today. Um, I have gone ahead. I have cut all of my mesh. This is poly burlap. This is what comes in your kit. So you get the eight pieces of the window pane with the turquoise and white. And then you get your whole roll of whatever color you picked, okay? Kathy, I'm working on all the invoicing. So if y'all have not ordered kits from me before, when I have big kits like the butterflies, I usually do them in sets of 20 to 30 at a time um, because I get so inundated with orders. Um, I am already over at seven, over 70 orders for the butterfly kits. Um, so y'all got to give me some grace. I will move through them as quickly as I can. And on days like today when it's raining, I can't even get outside and modify the boards. So I will get y'all, I promise, if you've put your order in, I will get to you, okay? So for this fold, we are gonna go ahead, these are cut 10 by 10, curved side up, diamond. We're gonna go corner to corner, just like this. Now I have heat sealed these, so it does make it a little bit easier on the frame. You're welcome. I know, aren't they? I love the turquoise. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pick the middle and I'm gonna one, two, one, two. Now you can do this however you want. It really doesn't matter if you work from one side to the other. It's just how I work, y'all. Yes, these kits are listed. There's a few left of the turquoise, and then you take and turn down those ends, and that is the petal that we are using for this flower. And we're going to put it right in. Don't have to worry about down here. If it frays, doesn't matter. It's not going to be seen. And then zip tie them in. Y'all know I generally use about a finger width. Good morning, good morning. Um, and that's where I, I zip tie it. So just like that, that is the petal we're using. So we're gonna do all of the outside in this, and then we're gonna do this in the window pane. Good morning. What's everybody doing? Corner to corner. I start in the middle. One, two, one, two. That just means that just makes them pretty much uniform. How much this kit is forty dollars. Pull them under and put them right in your board. Good morning, good morning. 
Now I have something to watch while I wait on the one-legged one. <laughs> Poor thing. And I just kind of curve them, cup them. That way once it's there, you don't even need to mesh with mess mesh with it. You don't mesh with it, y'all. <laughs> Heading to work, but we'll watch replay. Awesome. Do your break from track packing. <laughs> well, don't get me in trouble. <laughs> You're released from jury duty. <laughs> is Polly Burlap. This is one of the kits you can get. I've got the um, the turquoise. I've got the pink. I've got the purple. And I've got pink, purple, turquoise. Pink, purple, turquoise. Oh my goodness. I've done forgot. Yep, that's the wind, y'all. Crazy. Washing your clothes. <laughs> y'all gonna get me in trouble. It is really easy. These kits are listed on my page. So it's the pink, I can't remember, purple, turquoise, oh, and the white and turquoise. That's what it was. Peach, no, pink. Pink, pink, pink. Heck no, we ain't getting snow. What you talking about? The kits are posted on my page, y'all. So if you just find that post, um, make sure you put your email address and zip code, because I'm not tracking y'all down if you don't give me your information. Yours never turn out practice, girlfriend. Just practice. I'm showing you exactly what I do. I just try to make sure I get an even amount of folds on each side. So one, two, one, make sure they're kind of even, and then just put it under. You can get poly burlap anywhere. Um, I know, and I have posted before, my link to Ranch House Wreaths and more is, is I've got it posted. It will take you directly to them, and they have tons of poly burlap. Damon from Deco Exchange has poly burlap. Craft Outlet, Trendy Tree. Everybody has poly burlap right now, but I will tell y'all um, that poly burlap, everybody, just about everybody ran out of poly burlap last year. So if you're into making these flowers, get your supplies now. Just a heads up. from Kansas. Well, welcome. You found it awesome. Thank you for floating my boat. Let's see, 
even the the impulse sealer isn't perfect but that's okay because I can just go in and cut that off y'all so I am not worried about it and if you can see I'm making sure that I'm laying the surged edge on the bottom and the cut edge on top that way all of my petals look uniform and the surged edge will always be on this side of the petal. Will the boards hold up in the, yeah, they're 100% recycled plastic. They will hold up anywhere. Thank you for floating the boat. easy way to do it is go ahead get all these folded and you can put a, a, a close pin on it and then you can come up to your board and then just start loading everything in and it, it's pretty quick So who's new to my page? Give me some thumbs up if this is your first time seeing me. Absolutely. Just remember if they're really gonna be in the direct weather, you might want to go ahead and seal them. Me too. Yeah, this is the Dean Michael petal. She came up with this. And then I forget who actually came up with this flower. I want to say it was, girls, help me out, I don't know, Sarah Pes Pesto, Pesta? This kit is $40, it comes with your board, your zip ties, your poly burlap, and eight pieces of your window pane. What size are the petals? These are all cut 10 by 10. big y'all it's getting big let me move things around good morning your first time from Greenville North Carolina well welcome I am Michelle from monkeys creations so if you have any questions let me know if I don't see it my peeps will normally answer Michelle is on here she is um, one of my admins, the other admin on my Barrel of Monkeys page. So if y'all haven't joined that yet, go over, answer the questions, request to join. So she does awesome helping everybody out, answering questions, keeping my page under control.
do in a wreath. It can be done on a Y or a large UITC. How do you, for, well, for it really, it really just depends. For these kinds of flowers, I would never attempt to do it on a wireframe. It would take too much material. I'd probably cuss too much. These boards just make it really easy. I mean, it's almost dingy proof. I mean, you know exactly where your petals go. So there's no guessing. So for these kinds of things, I will always use a, um, a board. Now for my other wreaths, I have several clients who like the big wreaths on the wire frame, so they get what they want. Um, but for these things, I will always use the boards. They're just easier. Did you add extra zip ties? Go Nope. Now I will, once I start to do the rose senna, I'll add extra zip ties but no extra holes. There's no drilling of the board for this one. Yeah, you're looking at it, you're fraying a lot. Once you've got your pedal where you want it, leave it alone, y'all. This isn't unique in the creek board. So it's 100% recycled plastic. Um, this is the large flower board. So you can make your sunflowers, your Sarah flowers, what I'm making now. Um, you can even make wreaths on this board. I've made plenty of wreaths um, for those that, um, you know, have the double doors and it needs to fit in between both. I'm in Texas, so we don't worry about that, but you know, some people up north do, so. Good morning. All right, we got one more, and then the next row is gonna be the window pane. Normally I try to have all of these petals already folded, but my morning has been crazy already, so it's not done. Um, I don't use a wood burning too. I, I use an impulse sealer. Um, I've never used a wood burner, but it works just the same. But anytime I'm working with these, this, the poly burlap especially, I am gonna seal it because I just don't want all the fraying. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna get these cut off. This zip tie gun definitely makes it easier on your hands. going to use the window pane and it's going to do the same fold, the exact same fold, except it's going to be this. Is that not pretty? Pretty. All right, so same thing, corner to corner. This, you just got to be a little more careful. I always seem to stick my fingernail right through it, but I'm gonna try not to do that this time. So same thing, pinch your middle. And you can see I'm holding this so the top shouldn't move. So it is a little more difficult to work with but it's so beautiful once you get it on there. I think my, my lap 
tough rows, y'all. Or it's going in and out because of the weather. Huh? Hey, girl. What's up? I'm refreshing, y'all. Give me a second and I'll hopefully be able to see your comments again. Up. I'm sure I missed a bunch. If I missed a question, go ahead and repeat it because my, my laptop froze. So I apologize. Is this? Yes. This is one of the kits I have. It comes in the, this one is the teal. I have the pink. Um, look, I'm trying to remember again. Can you post on what colors you are using? This is teal and teal and, and cream. Or, I'm sorry, it's turquoise. Um, I have the white and the turquoise. I have the pink with the pink and white. Um, I can't think, y'all. I can't think. What's Damon saying? This kid is 40. And I only have a few left of each color, so <clears throat> if you want it, find that post and just leave me your email address and zip code. It takes one whole roll of your solid and then just eight pieces of whatever accent mesh you want to use. You're welcome. Damon, have you not made another board yet? Your first flower was good. <laughs> Oh, he hasn't taken his impulse dealer out of the box. <laughs> I need to change my uh, my sheet on mine. The kit is $40. Hello, hello. A good glue gun. Oh, you don't have to get that. That's just product being shipped. Anybody almost dread when the doorbell rings because you know you got more product in? <laughs> yes, this, this, I did seal this mesh. I always seal my poly burlap, always. Well, I take that back. I don't. If I'm using it in a regular wreath and not on a flower, then I usually won't seal it because if I'm doing it in a wreath, it's probably going to be a cruffle and you're not going to see the cut edge anyway. 
and this will be the first time I've changed my sheet um, teach me his language and I'll teach oh lord I want front row seats on that one um, so I've had mine for over a year and this will be the first time I've had to change it so they, they last quite a while if you take care of them since we're under snow <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know while I was outside doing the butterfly boards yesterday and it started raining and I was like, ugh, well, I didn't get as many as I wanted to done. But some of the butterfly kits should start shipping tomorrow. All right, last one. Here come the hot flashes, y'all. Holy man. This makes you absolutely, I'm so ready. Well, I mean, here, it's, I mean, we've had a really mild, even for Texas, summer or winter. I mean, it's been 70s most of the, the winter here, but but we're getting a, a couple cold days that need, we need a, at least one or two freezes to kill all these daggone bugs, y'all. <laughs> yes, I did. I have been religiously back on my maca root for a week. Or, yeah, almost a week. All right, so we're going to the next row. We're going back to our solid turquoise. <laughs> you funny. It definitely helps with the hot flashes. I don't have them as often, but of course, I you know, I'd have one on a daggone live. Oh, you used to live in the woodlands? Awesome. Well, there's my mama and my aunt. We're having a family reunion. Dragon <laughs> Daggone bugs. Well, I'd wear short sleeves, but then I'd get cold. It's cold outside, y'all. <laughs> I just can't be pleased right now. <laughs> Parker was in Baytown over the weekend. Right down the road. Say not to cut on the solid part, but next to it if you can. Oh, yeah, I wish I had it. Oh, I do. So if you're sealing your mesh, your window pane, when you seal it, do it in between the big sections and not over the covered section right here. Okay, so even if you have to make it just a little bit bigger, do it in there. Okay. This is poly burlap. You're watching my every move. Oh, goodness. And my last. 
laptop just went down. Holy man. I don't think my iPad is charged. We can get it back up there. All right, just a few more pieces and we will get to the rose in the center, y'all. Facebook lives. <laughs> How do you get the kit? It is posted on my main page. Just leave me your email, zip code, and the color you want, and I will work down them depending on how many I have left. Laptops. Yeah. Well, I think uh, my laptop just, I just need to get it cleaned. First time here from New Orleans. Well, welcome. These are six inch zip ties. Two more. Who's fired? Who's fired? Where you been? I was waiting for you. Oh, my zip tie gun? Yeah, it is bad branding. There is no name. It was gifted to me by one of um, you guys, um, but it has no name <laughs> on it anywhere, if that's what you're talking about. But, um... I don't know, does Deco Exchange have the, the zip tie guns? Girl, I ain't stealing your mesh. You done lost your mind. <laughs> okay, so we are done. Let me get this one fixed. I was wondering if you have done a live on the Sarah Flower. I haven't made one yet, but I want to try. This is it, and there's one already uploaded. I did one last year that's on my YouTube channel. So it has already been done. You have zip tie guns? There y'all go. Go to Deco Exchange, get you some zip tie guns. Now 
now we're going to start that rose fennel, y'all. Oh, we got them. Okay, so for the Santa, you're going to take, and we're going to start, it is still going curbside up. These are all still 10 by 10, y'all. I'm going to go the same way I was going. So you're going to bring corner to corner just like we have been doing. But here, you're going to take this end and you're going to pinch it just like that. Okay? Everybody with me? We're going to take it and put it up under the zip tie with the tail facing out and zip tie it. Okay? Now I'm going to cut these off as we go because it's going to get in my way. Same thing, we're going to do four just like this facing out. I know it's going to look like a hot mess, but stay with me. seeing them. I'll play with one and see if they're any good. I'm good. How are you? Oh, he has the app now. <laughs> How many of y'all are going to get in trouble because of that app? <laughs> Can you do this with Deco Mesh? Absolutely. Okay, so this is the last one. That's going to be facing out. Okay, now we're gonna take these four pieces, and believe it or not, this is gonna be the center of our rows, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you pick. This one is already, looks like it's in the center, so we're just gonna pick it, y'all. So I'm gonna start rolling. And wrapping it around itself. just like that, okay? You're gonna take your next one, do the same thing, and we're gonna take all four of these and just roll them up on themselves. Can y'all see okay? Love the colors, me too. Last one. Okay. So there's our Senna. I'm just going to take a clip 
and I'm going to clip that in place. Okay. Now we're going to take and we're going to do right here, if you can see, you can see this gap, this gap right here, we're going to go and take our zip tie from here to here. So we're filling in here to here, here to here, okay? So just feed it in one hole and up the next. Now we're going to do the same petal fold, but this time our tail is going to go in. Okay, so same petal fold. This time tail is going in. So we're just kind of filling in that gap. Okay. And taking it and wrapping it right around. Take your clip move it to hold that next piece in place. Okay, everybody with me? No, the boards do not come with the zip ties on them. Now you can talk to Damon. He may go ahead and preload them for you. <laughs> What's your think, Damon? the monkey business here. <laughs> so same thing, working our way all the way around with the petal going in. to bring out the board see <laughs> they might quit on you for that one <laughs> south florida awesome mustaka's here no i know you were just asking he took a heart attack yes he would Same thing, just moving our clip around. Looking for a new partner. Um, honestly, you can just get the 16-inch impulse sealer. Um, I have the, the big one, but you don't need one that big. Banana bread? I want some banana bread. Nope. No bingo on this page. I ain't crazy. Uh -uh. Nope, nope, and nope. You're getting a Texas rain today and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they're passing through. It got 
cold i mean i was up at five thirty this morning and it was nice and i went back outside to mess with the dogs not even an hour and a half later and it got cold just like that i was like what the heck You know what, y'all? Hold on. Let's backtrack. Let me see what my first one was. Hold on. I'll, I'll turn it over and show y'all what I'm doing. Because this one was supposed to be every other. I told y'all it'd been a while since I made one. Taking that one out. So on the back, so we're doing every other. Okay. You couldn't pay me enough to do that one. Heck no. <laughs> you ain't even funny. Can you say the rose, y'all? <laughs> Can you say it? Four inches of snow. Holy man. So I have every roll, I mean, you may get a little more, a little less. So I have an extra piece, two pieces. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in the gaps because we did do every other. So one here, one here, one here. Now you can still, what you would do if you didn't have the extra pieces is just once you let this go, this will go and relax and fill this in and you're just going to take this part and just tack it with a little bit of hot glue to keep it down there but i have two extra pieces actually so i'm going to use them This one 
put just this last piece right there and I'll turn it over and show you. These end pieces right here will get tucked right down in there and just hit it with a little bit of hot glue. It won't go anywhere. And I like mine big and open, so I'm going to just gently relax these a little bit. kind of mess with it making sure all my ends are still tucked down inside and I will go in and hit those ends with a little bit of hot glue as well just to make sure they don't come out so there you go there is your Sarah flower. And then if you have strays, just gently cut them off. Well, don't gently cut them off. Just cut them off. I don't know why I'm saying gently. And then I'm going to go back and just fix these petals, making sure they're turned up. So if you want this tighter, just make it tighter and hot glue it in different places to make it whatever you want it to look like, really. So there you go. And then, so there it is. No, I am, I will go back and hit those ends with some hot glue. Um, and then on the back of every board or on every board you'll see two holes side by side those are your hanging holes so you can I just use zip ties you can use twine you can use ribbon whatever you want to hang yours with but I'm just gonna feed my zip tie right through there And of course I did it backwards. So let's just twist it. Zip tie it and there's where it'll hang from. So any questions? So you sold it as soon as you posted it? Yep, these are fun to make. And they can, you can do them with so many color combinations. And even if you don't have, you don't even have to use the window pane. You can just use a different color, whatever you want. It can be used in the solid. Go get dressed, girl. Girl. I can't talk, y'all. Thanks, good friend. So, any questions? So, these are 10 by 10. All the pieces are heat sealed with the impulse sealer 10 by 10. Um, just make sure you hit those ends with some hot glue to make sure they don't go anywhere. Any questions? Any questions? How do you? I heat seal mine with the impulse sealer. So just about all the poly burlap gets the heat seal. That's your color? <laughs> some people use a soldering iron some people use a wood burning tool um, whatever you want to use to cut it 
i mean you don't even have to heat seal it but just know it's going to fray and you're going to have a lot more to clip off than the three little frays i just clipped off so yep very easy all right well if y'all don't have any questions i am out of here so these kits are posted on my page um i have four of the colors i'm not sure at this point how many i have left of these kits um i didn't have a lot left when i came on um so so it is posted on my page so if y'all have any questions let me know otherwise i will get this uploaded to youtube and you can go back on youtube and watch it as many times as you need to and if you have any questions just let me know bye y'all